Kargar is smart city one of the nodes of Mumbai metropolis situated at the northernmost tip of Raigad district. It was developed by the City and Industrial Development Corporation i.e. Sidco. Kargar is located on the Sion Panvel Highway at one and half hour approximately, drive during peak traffic hours from the heart of Mumbai city. The area started developing in 1995 and now has a number of ready and under construction projects both in the commercial and residential segments. Kargar which is said to be the most developed node of Navi Mumbai, will be administered by recently established Panvel Municipal Corporation. Introduction Navi Mumbai is envisaged as a counter-magnet to reduce the pressure on Mumbai suburb. It is planned as a polycentric new town with a series of nodal concentrations along mass transport corridors. When fully built, it is expected to have 14 such townships with a combined population of 4 million and 1 million jobs. Kargar is one of the 14 nodes and is being developed by Sidco for an estimated population of about 50,000. Sale of alcohol and plastic bags is prohibited in Kargar. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location. Kargar adjoins the central business district of Belapur in Navi Mumbai and is bound by two major highways and the picturesque Kargar Hills. The Taloha Industrial Estate and Taloha Creek are located on the east. Kargar is primarily a residential township, but also has several educational institutions. Characteristics <laughs> 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 Kargar measures about 1,700 hectares, 7 km long and 5 km wide. There are 12 village settlements located in Kargar node having a combined population of 20,000. Kargar is divided into 36 sectors. The general levels vary from 1.5 to 15.0 meters within the site. A third of the site is almost flat, but the areas close to the creek are low-lying. Kargar hills bring a huge amount of rainwater, which is directed into the creek through the node as well as the central park area. Which is now closed for residents to visit because of accidents caused like drowning of schools kids and due to unpredictable terrain both on mountains as well as underwater. Topic infrastructure for building a self-sustaining education ecosystem for continued growth Kargar is coming to be known as the education capital of Navi Mumbai. It has become a world-class education hub, renowned for its intellectual capital and creative energy. While this vision may seem highly ambitious for the node but Kargar has proven that it has what it takes to make the vision a reality. Kargar is home to the prestigious National Institute of Fashion Technology NIFT. It was shifted to Kargar from Dadar in 2002-03. NIFT offers undergraduate courses in fashion design, fashion communication, apparel manufacturing and information technology as well as postgraduate courses in fashion management and fashion design space. Apart from NIFT, Kargar accommodates many other reputed colleges, including the Institute for Technology and Management. Global Aviation Academy is the number one academy in India Bharati Vidyapith College of Engineering, Bharati Vidyapith College of Architecture, Anasaheb Chudaman Patil College of Engineering, Saraswati College of Engineering, and Urala Medical Trusts College and Hospital. Presence of these colleges makes Kargar a youthful place. Kargar has a large number of reputed high schools such as APJ, Greenfingers Global School, DAV, Ryan, Sanjivana, Ramsheth Thacker and Balbarati Public School, Convent of Jesus and Mary High School and Junior College. One, Kargar has a number of ready and under construction projects both in the commercial and residential segments. The 10-story office building of Siemens India Limited near Kargar Railway Station is the oldest commercial structure. Kendriya Vihar is the oldest and the biggest residential complex of Kargar. Sidco has also built one of the largest residential complex Shilp Valley near Sector 36 in Kargar as the most recent development. Some of the prestigious residential buildings are Kesar Harmony, Regency Park, Hyde Park, Hiranundai Gardens and Patel Heritage. Navi Mumbai's tallest building Samyama City with 65 stories is planned in Sector 36 in Kargar. The Indian Armed Forces has two residential enclaves, Jalvayu Vihar and Raghunath Vihar. 
The Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education in Cancer located in Sector 22 is a state-of-the-art R&D satellite of the Tata Memorial Center, which also includes under its umbrella the Tata Memorial Hospital, the largest cancer hospital in Asia. SIDCO has also built an 18-hole golf course opposite Central Park in Kargar along with shopping malls. The Central Park in Sector 23 is sprawling across 80 hectares and cover three sectors. It has a joggers track, food courts, fountains, botanical gardens, amphitheater, theme parks and conservatory greenhouse. Iskan has commenced construction of its temple at the entrance to the Central Park. It is believed this will be the biggest Iskan temple in India. Sector 12 also has a park called Krantavir Fadke Garden. Sector 20 also has a Sidco park for morning joggers, senior citizens and children. Currently, Kargar has two malls with multiplex movie screens. The first one is located at Little World Mall and the second at Glomax Mall. A few movie screens with limited seats are also available at Tiara Complex near Righunath Vihar. There are retail brands like Dmart in Sector 15, Reliance Fresh at Sec 19, Star Daily at Sec 20 and more at Little World Mall. There are adequate utility shops, departmental stores and supermarkets in every sector. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pedestrian Skywalk at Kargar. Sidco has constructed a skywalk to facilitate hindrance-free movement between Kargar railway station and the city node. This skywalk spans across the Sion Panvel National Highway with cable suspension bridge resting on 41 meters tall pylon. The total length of the skywalk is 1,780 meters which makes it India's longest skywalk. It has an open type escalator in the entrance foyer portion of Kargar Railway Station with a ramp for alighting. The skywalk runs parallel to the highway between Bharati Vidyapith up to the entrance of Pravish Marg and then towards UTSAV Chowk. There is also a NIFT college stop in between. Transportation Rail Kargar is located on the outskirts of Mumbai. It falls in Raigad district. Kargar Railway Station lies on Central Railway's Harbour Line, a part of Mumbai's suburban railway network. It takes about 65 minutes to reach Kargar by train from Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. <laughs> <laughs> Road A drive by road from Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus takes about 60 minutes via the Eastern Freeway. Lokmanya Tilak Terminus, another important railway station is also 45 minutes drive by road from Kargar via the Santa Cruz – Chember Link Road. The six-lane Mumbai Pune Expressway starts at Kalamboli 4 km from Kargar. The place is easily approachable from Pune and the other major cities of the state like Thane, Kalyan, Nashik etc. Within the suburbs, NMMT buses are available frequently between stations, nodes and within sectors. NMMT buses are available from Kargar to Vashi, Chembur, Sion, Dadar, Thane, Panvel, Uran and Taloha. NMMT runs their AC Volvo buses from Kargar to Dadar, Borivali and Cuff Parade. Best buses are also available from Kargar to Vashi, Sion, Dadar and Ghatkopar. Private cars and two-wheelers continue to serve as the prime means of transport. Private taxis offer services from Kargar to other parts of Navi Mumbai and Mumbai. Navi Mumbai Metro The first phase of Navi Mumbai Metro will be from Belapur to Pendar via Kargar. The planning and construction of the Navi Mumbai Metro is being overseen by Sidco. The foundation stone for the project was laid on 1 May 2011 and the project was expected to be operational from end of year 2017. <laughs> Navi Mumbai International Airport The proposed new Navi Mumbai International Airport was initially expected to be operational by 2019 in the Kapra area between Khandeshwar and Kamath. This was passed by Sidco on August 1, 2009. 
Despite getting environmental clearance from the center almost three years ago, the project was stuck due to protracted negotiations with farmers who wanted a compensation package of 20 crore rupees per hectare or 35% of the land bank as a developed plot. The project, which will come up on 1,160 hectares of land, will be built in four phases. The first phase with an annual capacity of 10 million passengers will be completed by 2018. After the completion of the whole project, it will cater to about 60 million passengers a year. The affected villagers will mostly be rehabilitated in a new township called Pushback Nagar and in Wajhar and Wahal villages around the project area. Under the project plan, the rare island village of Wagavali in Panvel Creek will be converted into a mangrove lagoon and its ecology will be maintained there is also a plan to build a sea link between Enhava Shiva and Siri, thus making the new airport accessible to not only Navi Mumbai residents but also the residents of South Mumbai as well. Topic land use distribution The land use distribution proposed for sector 23, 24 and 25 is as under, open space 80 hectares. 66.0% residential 10.59 hectares. 3.6% commercial 5.56 hectares. 14.6% social facilities 9.28 hectares. 11.0% public utilities 10.85 hectares 21.0% circulation 4.41 hectares 3.5% total 119.77 hectares 100.0% It is one of the most planned nodes of Navi Mumbai and lies close to CBD Belapur, Vashi. This area is proposed to be developed as an education centre with a number of primary and higher education institutes opening their campuses in the vicinity. Topic site for Central Park The park occupies an area of 119 ha, approximately, spreading over into sector 23, 24 and 25 in Kargar. An area of 80 hectares, approximately, is earmarked for Central Park. It is a relatively flat terrain that has sporadic vegetation. The site acts as a link between two natural elements, hill and water. Mumbai, a sprawling hill plateau spread over 250 acres at Kargar in Panvel will soon be up for grabs. The City and Industrial Development Corporation Sidco will hold a global auction with a reserve price of 2,000 crore rupees to create a Themakam Entertainment City on the lines of Hollywood, Disneyland and Sentosa Park in Singapore. Since its inauguration, the Central Park at Kargar, is the centre of recreational activities for people in Kargar as well as others. For safety purpose there are four CCTVs at the Central Park, which will keep a check on the visitors and keep a track of all the people. This move aim at ensuring maximum security for those who visit the park, a senior Sidco official said. He added that the cameras have been operational since a week. <laughs> Navi Mumbai Corporate Park Sidco has planned a better version of Bandra Kurla Complex BKC in Kargar with a layered structure with a pyramid-shaped central hub of high-rises. The new structure will encompass an area of 200 hectares factoring in the Central Park and Golf Course. The actual corporate hub will be on 125 hectares of land. Sidco has decided to have a layered structure with the outer fringe to be developed with 1-2 FSI while the core area will have 3 FSI. Around 50% of the area 120 hectares has been set aside for the high rises with 3 FSI for the pyramid-shaped structure. Plots will be auctioned for corporates with the richer entities vying for the hub of the corporate park. Shops and commercial properties will also be developed so that there is nightlife unlike BKC. Proximity to the international airport and the metro project worth 13,000 crore rupees, will provide high-class infra, Bhatia said. The entire cargo node along with nearby industrial Taloha will get connected to the new airport lending an opportunity for businesses to hop between work stations and the airport. Cargar Hills Driving Range In the vicinity of the Central Park there is Cargar Golf Club. From the main road, a branch road is made around the 300 metres periphery of the golf club and it terminates at the base of Cargar Hills. This small road is known as Driving Range. From here, there are pedestrian ways to climb on the hills and enjoy the beauty of the landscapes around. Trekking is a popular activity here. 
During rainy season a lot of people from Kargar and nearby areas visit here to enjoy the waterfalls and water in a river nearby. During summers these waterfalls and river dry up. <laughs> 